Hey, what's up guys, Johnny here, back with more Shadowgun Legends. In today's video, we talk about the Mother's Promise Legendary Pistol. More specifically, we will compare the two different versions because there is a 245 power and a 250 power Mother's Promise Legendary. Usually with these weapons, or most weapons in fact, the power level will only increase the damage, the base damage number. Everything else is the same, the accuracy, the range, the magazine cap and everything. So here's the thing guys, after update 0.5, people start dropping the Mother's Promise Legendary in the Voltaic Fist Dungeon at 245 power. It was no longer 250 and people were not so happy about that. We used to drop that pistol at 250 and now all of a sudden it's 245. The thing people did not realize at the start is it dropped with different perks. So in today's video, we're gonna compare the perks on the 245 and the 250 power Mother's Promise. But before we start, just saying, uh, Yaki sent me that picture on Discord today. Someone dropped a 250 Mother's Promise in the Silver Arena. I think it was yesterday. So guys, uh, it's still possible to get the 250 Mother's Promise pistol. All right, so this is the 250, the old 250 pistol with the perks. As you can see, double accuracy perks, damage to elites, fire rate, reload speed, and 5% uh, magazine cap, not a big deal, a bit of iron side damage. So the Mother's Promise does not drop, or the old Mother's Promise does not drop with crit damage or extra damage. Now this is the 245 guys and as you can see it drops with 5% extra damage and 13% crit damage. It also has double accuracy perks, the damage to elites, fire rate, does not have extra magazine cap though. So if we just check the stats side by side you see it's all the same except the damage. The 245 Mother's Promise will deal a little less damage. Now if we look at the perks though you can see that the 245 Mother's Promise does have an extra 5% damage and some crit damage. The fire rate is the same. The fire rate perk is 8% on both. They will shoot the exact same number of bullets per second. The only difference though is the reload speed. 250 has an extra reload speed perk that the 245 does not have. Like I said, the 245 has less base damage, 144.9, but you will have an extra 5% when you unlock the perk. So 5% of 144 would be something like 7 extra damage. 144 plus 7 would put the 245 Mother's Promise over 150, 151, 152 maybe. So it's 5 more damage per bullet than the actual 250 Mother's Promise. This is crazy, guys. The 245 pistol... It's gonna deal more damage per bullet than the 250 Mother's Promise. And on top of that, it has crit damage that the 250 does not have. The only thing the 250 has is the extra reload speed, and that's about it. There's not much more to say, guys. I'll leave it there if you guys wanna pause and compare the perks for yourself. But like I said at the start of the video, the base stats on both pistols is pretty much the same, except the base damage which is like two points of difference or something like that. But you have an extra 5% on the 245 version. So to me, it doesn't make any sense at all. I don't understand first why they don't have the same set of perks. And second, why is it that with the extra damage, the 245 will deal more damage than the 250? I mean, the higher power level you have on your weapon should mean the best weapon, right? I mean, what's the point of farming trying to get the high power level weapons if they're not going to be better than the lower power ones? It doesn't make sense. So all these guys saying uh, that the 245 Mother's Promise was actually better than the 250, it seems they were right, guys. If you compare the stats, if you compare the perks, the 245 version is going to deal more DPS. So again, I don't know why or how who decided that, but probably was not intentional at all. One last thing before I go, some guys are trying to make a list of all the legendary locations after the update 0.5.1, because they told us they were gonna shuffle the legendaries after the update. Uh, I've seen the True Patriot in Hive Mine, I've seen Plasma Bastard in Hive Mine, uh, the Mew Chaser in Hive Mine, now Mother's Promise in Arena. Um, I haven't seen Nico Stopper drop yet, but the question is, are they there and they don't change place or are they shuffling every week? Or also, is the legendary drops for the weapons 
shuffling every week so let's say one week you can get plasma blaster one week you can get the patriot one week you can get something else i mean it's still a secret right legendaries are always mysterious and some of them are not dropping very often so if you guys have any idea make sure you leave a comment below today uh what do you think about the whole thing of the 245 versus 250 mother's promise you think they should do something about it or leave it like that um and what do you think about legendary locations is it shuffling is it changing every week or is it fixed anyways that will be it for today guys thank you guys so much for watching once again if you enjoyed this video leave a like subscribe to the channel turn on your notifications watch my other videos i'll be back soon take care guys